today I'm going to show you how to make barbecue pork hambao. You need for the sauce to make the fillings, you need hoisin sauce, ketchup, oyster sauce, and for the pork, use pork shuttles. And you put this mixture in to cook the pork shuttles until tender. Follow this instruction back here and cut up into the size that you soak shiitake mushroom and then cut into small size one onion mince it three easy items for the dough self rising all purpose flour sugar and milk so after you measure the three cups of flour you put in the bowl and then pour in the sugar and mix the milk. I'll do it. And then you mix it all around and knead it up. kneading for about 10 minutes your dough should be come form into the ball like this and the bowl should be come clean then find a lid or something or saran wrapper to wrap the top of your bowl Up and let it rest for half an hour or more. While the dough is rising, we're gonna go prepare the fillings. Chop the onion up to cubes, small cubes. I like mine to be a little bit smaller, so I mince it one more time after I chop it. It's cooked faster. For the mushroom, after you soak for 20 minutes to half an hour, it's been softened. So you have to rinse it off with a few waters. I would change three times the water already. Now it's become kind of clear. And when you prepare to chop, make sure you squeeze them all out. You don't want water in here. Because you need it to soak in the sauce when you make the fillings. Like that. The center of the sh uh, mushroom is very tough. You don't want to eat it. Just cut them off and toss them away. And these, you just do small slice, thinly. And after that, mince it a little small. In this bowl, I already mixed all my sauce together. So this way, I don't have to measure one by one. Put everything together and give it a taste and see if it's uh, salty or sweet enough for my taste. If not, and this is the um, water that I need to use to add in with the sauce. This one is cornstarch mix. Turn on the heat high and when it's hot, add in a little bit of oil. So you can stir fry the onion. When it's hot, add in the mushroom and onion.
stir around for a minute or two until the onion is uh, wilted. It's halfway wilted. At this point, we're going to add in the water and then the rest of the sauce and stir around for another minute or so. At this point, turn down the heat a little bit and then add in the pork. It's already pre-cooked, so we add them in last. And keep the stir. If you don't want to make your own barbecue pork, you can actually um, go to the Asian's Deli and you can buy their roasted pork and come and chop it up. Today I'm lazy. I using ground pork. I am, and I'm still using the mixing that I showed you earlier with it. But it tastes better if you use the pork shuttle instead of ground pork. But I'm. I feel like it's more convenient for me using ground pork, so that's what I use. And after another minute or so, when the sauce starts to thicken up a little bit, put in the cornstarch mixture, put in and stir right away, so it doesn't clump up. After the corn starts in, it should be looking like this. And then you just turn off the heat and put it aside to cool down. So the dough been rising to double. And then in the meantime, you go ahead cut out the wax paper for 20 pieces. You may not need it all, but just in case, 20 piece into square shape, about probably three inch by three inch. From the lock, I'm gonna cut it in half, put one dough back in a bowl, and then from these I'm gonna make six make cut into six piece so half from what I have side by side and one two and three and from these roll it into a ball like this Put it to a side. Take the other part of dough out and put this back into the bowl and cover them up with a towel so it won't dry it out. Take one of these out, kind of flatten the edge a little bit because after it's been rest, it's kind of rise it up again. So I'm going to flat the edges a little bit so it's easy for me to fold later. You don't have to do it, you don't want to. And take a scoop, one tablespoon of the filling, put right in the center.
and then twisting like this. I'm still kind of new with these, so I'll try my best and hope you've done better. And kind of twist it a little bit to seal it up. And then I have a bowl of flour here. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to dip lightly and then put on top of the wax paper. I'm going to do it another one. Just flatten up the edges only. This thing a little messy of the of because of the sauce. Take one scoop, put it in the middle. Your thumbs getting dirty, that's okay. For me, I have to relax my dough on the cutting board and I use my thumb to kind of crisscross it. Last spot, scoop it up and twist the buns. Just like that. And just leave it to one corner of the cutting board. After you've done all five, transfer it to something to bring it over to the steamer. This is how I move it. Just pull the top up and transfer it. I got five and then we're going to close the lid. I'm going to steam it for about 15 to 20 minutes. After 15 minutes, I'm going to check my bun. The bun actually. And this is what it looks like. That's when it's done. It's going to open. It's okay and get one tray nearby ready and a tongue so when you're done you're gonna have about 12 of the humbao I have two more still in the steamer and this is what it looks like next I'm gonna have someone try and let you know how it tastes I'm gonna cut one open. Okay, go ahead, try and let mommy know how it tastes. Is it good? So for the rest, after an hour has been cooled down, you can wrap them up with the saran wrapper and put back in the fridge to eat for about a week. But if you want to keep it longer, you can put in the freezer with saran wrapper. And every time you heat, heat about 30 seconds is good enough. You don't want to heat too long, otherwise this gets very rubbery. So every time you, you heat, 30 seconds only. All right, hope you enjoy. And by the way, if you ever happen to have the uh, filling left over, you can serve it with rice is fine too. Sometimes I might end up, you know, a lot of fillings left, so I eat with rice. 